Jesus is rejected at Nazareth. We see in Mark 6, verses 1 through 6, Jesus left that place and went to his hometown. His disciples followed him. When the day of rest, a holy day came, he began to teach in the synagogue. He amazed many who heard him. They asked, where did this man get these ideas? Who gave him this kind of wisdom and the ability to do such great miracles? Isn't this the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon? Aren't his sister here with us? So they took offense at him. But Jesus told them, the only place a prophet is an honor is in his hometown, among his relatives, and in his own house. He could not work any miracles there except to lay his hands on a few sick people and cure them. Their unbelief amazed him. They understood that Jesus had wisdom and the ability to do great miracles. Their unbelief was they could not believe that God would manifest himself in a man, especially one they knew. Their problem was not believing in the miracles. Their problem was not believing in the one who had the power to do great miracles. So they rejected Jesus. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. If you refuse to believe in God and Jesus Christ and the Word of God, it will be impossible for you to get the things He has promised to you. If you want to see miracles and blessings in your life, you must first believe in Jesus Christ. Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Jesus is the only way. We cannot bypass Jesus and go to God. Satan tries to make us think we, we can get the things of God without Jesus. This is why many people are trying to keep Moses' law. By doing this, they are rejecting Jesus Christ. The Word teaches us we are all children of God by faith in Jesus Christ. The law was our tutor to bring us to Christ that we might be justified by faith. But after faith has come, we are no longer under the law. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, curses everyone that hangs on a tree. In the text, this amazed Jesus because his own people rejected him. He told them, the only place a prophet isn't honored is in his hometown, among his relatives and, his, and in his own house. And his own people are rejecting him now by thinking they can be made right with God trying to keep the law without Jesus Christ. Today we must honor Jesus for who he is and all that he is. Jesus had left Gadarene. And there he had cast an unclean spirit out of a man that lived in the graveyard among the tombs. He also healed a woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. And he also raised Jairus' daughter from the dead. They saw the miracles. They heard about the miracles. But in his own hometown, because of their unbelief, he could not do any miracles among them except to place his hand on a few sick people and heal them. We must look carefully at the word of God. Because of their unbelief, he could not do any miracles among them except to place his hands on a few sick people and cure them. It does not say he would not do any miracles there because of their unbelief. But he could not do any miracles because of their unbelief. Satan will use unbelief to stop miracles and blessings in your life. 
It was unbelief that kept the children of Israel out of the promised land. Except for two, Caleb and Joshua. Jesus cures a demon-possessed boy after his disciples could not cast the demon out. This also amazed Jesus that they did not have the faith to cast this demon out. And Jesus rebuked the devil and he departed out of him and the child was cured from that very hour. Then the disciples came to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. Then he said unto them, If you had faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, Remove here unto there, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Jesus said, Faith will work for you. Nothing will be impossible for you. Everything is possible for the person who believes. We must believe. Unbelief will steal our blessings. I'm Pastor Larry Calvert of Redeeming Light Ministries. You have a blessed day.